G'day Leo, welcome to TJ Terror Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. See what's going on. Now, I'm just gonna say, um, just for your information, I am not on any social medias or anything like that. I am only on YouTube, that's it. I do have a PayPal link on my homepage, it's in the about section, it's all in the description box below. Um but otherwise, I'm not anywhere else on the internet. So if you do see anything else on the internet, please report it because it's not me. If I do have anything else, I will let you know. <laughs> so, yeah, just to let you know. So I don't want you to get scammed. So, yeah. All right. So this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or, or check out my playlist. See if something resonates for you there. Cross watches, this could be your energy or else it will be somebody else's, so keep that in mind. Thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes and views. Every single one of them is greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, that PayPal thing is, um, if you want to donate, it's up to you. Um, it will be greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, but no pressure. Um, and the decks I'm using today will be listed in the description box below in the order that I'm using them. Now, I'm going to split the deck get cards for you, but just let you know, um, are you really tense about something? Because I've got this real tension in my shoulders at the moment. As soon as I tapped into your energy, I've just tensed up. <sighs> So please breathe out, relax, Leo, relax. All right, message for Leo is at the bottom. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Past life relationship. You've known each other before. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. And pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay. Hmm. So you're in retreat mode at the moment. You've disconnected from everything. Something to do with a past relationship or someone from a past life. You feel like you've known each other before. You have known them before. They're your true love. But you're being really cautious here, looking for red flags. Hmm, something needs to be healed here. That's why you're looking for that. You're cautious because there's something that's got to be healed here with this past person. They're your true love. Why are you retreating from them? There's something that needs to be healed here. The red flags that were came up between you two. Oh, no wonder you're tense. <laughs> no wonder you're tense because then you know that there's something that's got to be sorted out here with someone from the past. You see them as your true love. Retreating's not going to make it go away, Leo doll. Okay. Got worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So are you waiting for that right time? Waiting for the right time. Not in commitment here, but there's those red flags again. Yeah, something's got to be healed here. You want this commitment with them, but... There's something that's got to be healed. Look, you got passion. They make your heart sing with joy. Heart and soul sing with joy. Oh, Leo. But again, those red flags. Oh. Something to do with your belief systems and you need to reevaluate maybe because your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So you might need to reassess that. All right, lovely Leos, let's have a look. What's, give me three cards on the love energy coming towards Leo, please. If you're new to the channel for the main read, I uh, let the cards jump. I, and I don't take reversals. Let's see, what's this love energy? It's being sent towards you, Leo, that you're being so cautious about. <laughs> Come on, give me three cards, please. Oh, wow. <sighs> oh, 
One more, please. Thank you. Okay. So they have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. See? They know you're a soulmate. Someone thinks you're a soulmate, Leo. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. They feel these romantic feelings for you. And trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay. So they're trying to have faith and trust here that this is going to work out. But there could be trust issues here. Is this what these red flags are about? There's some issues of trust between you two. Mm. Oh, playfulness to recapture romance and lay your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Deception. Someone's wearing a false mask in this relationship. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So there was playfulness here, but it was a deception. Because they they actually want to open their heart to you and make that effort. Or they want you to open your heart and make the effort. And stop trying to deceive them with this playfulness. Ooh. Now we're still in that full moon energy as I'm doing this reading and that, as you'll probably see it because the full moon hangs around, energy hangs around for quite a few days so after the full moon. Hmm. And I must say the readings have been a bit crazy. <laughs> All right. Message for Leo is... The Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Two of Wands, High Priestess, and the Four of Pentacles. So you want to come in here, come in with stability, actions of stability, move forward. Look, this horse is actually moving in this deck. Slow and steady, it's not racing, it's not rearing up, but it's moving. Slow and steady. You do want to come in with stability here, but you're undecided. I'm trying to trust your intuition here. You're still holding on to this person, but you're holding back as well. You're holding back. Keeping it a secret. And you're undecided about moving forward with stability here. Oh, Leo... What's going on? Hey, you're waiting, three of ones. Yeah, you're waiting for that divine timing. You're waiting for your ship to come in. Waiting. Waiting for a passionate message here with it. fire energy. Wanting to flirt again. Waiting to send that passionate message. But you really... Look, it's... This is flirting, very immature actions, but behind it is the Hierophant, or the High Priest in this deck. Commitment, belief systems in love. You want commitment, but you're wanting commitment here, but starting it with a passionate message, waiting. Waiting for the right time to send that passionate message. Mm, yeah, you've got a lot of love to give, King of Cups, but you're holding it back. You're not showing it yet. Don't sting yourself with these bees or wasps by not showing that love. Just hurting yourself. Tell me about soulmate for this love energy coming towards Leo. Ace of Swords. They want the truth to be spoken by both of you. They want a new beginning with truth and clarity. <sighs> you're a, you're their soul, they see you as a soulmate and they just want the truth. Or they want to speak the truth. Ten of Pentacles, wow. Long term stability. 
So they see you as a soulmate. They just want the truth. Do you want this long-term stability with them? Something long-term, unstable, committed. Two of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and the Hangman, or the Oak King in this deck. So, yeah, they're trying to weigh up here. I'm on an errand about whether this can be balanced between you two. Will there be balance, give and take, or are you giving to others? Um, they do want to heal this, but, yeah, they're trying to see it from all different perspectives here, but they're really stuck. They're stuck. I'm hearing that stuck on you by Lionel Richie, but I always hear that song now when I see the hangman. <laughs> But I think it applies this time. I think they're stuck on you. They want to heal this. They want balance, give and take between you two, but they don't know whether you're willing to give that, whether they'll get that from you. I'm not saying that you won't. Just it's just what their energy is. Mm, the crone or the the strength card. This is your card, Leo. Um, they're trying to be strong here. Have this have the courage to possibly say something. Also hearing they want you to tame that beast, but or will you have the courage? I mean that fear that you're feeling, that tension that is the beast. I'm not saying you're toxic or anything, just saying that, you know, that fear energy is devil energy. Hmm. Knight of Swords, they want to charge in with the truth here. They want actions of truth, actions of communication. Okay, tell me about romantic feelings for this love energy coming towards Leo. Wow, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, this is you, Leo, in the feminine energy of love and passion. I'm not feeling that this is, um, like, what I normally get from the Queen of Wands, because everybody has a bit of the Queen of Wands in them, because she is sexy at uh, well maybe not in this picture <laughs> but sexy confident independent um not really the marrying kind can be the other woman or man and there's no gender here um yeah but being this is a fire reading i'm seeing this as you Romantic feelings, they want this happily ever after with you and they want to feel confident that you feel the same way. They want this with you, definitely with you. Definitely with you. Yeah. The um, justice card in this deck, the standing stone. They want this balance between you two. They want to know, do you feel the same way? Do you want this happily ever after too? Do you think that they're hot and sexy as well? Because <laughs> they think you're hot and sexy. <laughs> they want that love. Well, it's love and passion. All queens are loving. She's the queen of passion. They want that love and passion with you. But long-term stability and truth here. Like, this is all the elements. We've got air, earth, water and fire. All balanced. Ooh, Ten of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Water Energy, and the Five of Cups. See, there was a painful ending. There's been a painful ending here because someone was holding back. Is this you because you're retreating, Leo? It's causing them a really painful ending here. 
they want a message of love or an apology here because they're so disappointed in the fact that you've been holding back and it's really hurting them. It really hurt them that you held back. Disappointment here. A message of love is required or else you know, are they just pouring their love into, you know, will they just pour their love onto the ground? Are they going to just be disappointed here? If you keep holding back, it's just a painful ending. It's going to have to end. I mean, the Ten of Swords ends and goes back to the Ace of Swords with that truth. That truth will end that painful, painful ending. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Page of Swords and the Six of Cups, they want information. They want you to... Speak truthfully about the past. Could also be that they want to talk about those beautiful memories of love they had with you. Or else, yeah, they, they want more information on what went on in the past. Between you, you know, what broke you up. Between you two... Two of Swords, the indecision that there was. Why was there the uh, indecision? They want to know. The Fool, or the Green Man in this deck, um, wanting a new beginning here. They want this new beginning here. They want to take that leap of faith and have a new beginning with you, that's for sure. Can't sleep at night thinking about it. Nine of Swords. Tell me about trust for this love energy coming towards Leo, please. <coughs> Sorry. Three of Swords. Ooh. The Death card or the Lord of Shadows. Page of Swords again. And that Six of Cups again. Wow. Well, there's definitely some trust issues here. Because there's heartbreak. Heartbreak. An ending. They need to trust that you're not going to break their heart again and just end things, walk away. In, able for, in order for this to transform out of this heartbreak, they need more information about the past. I'm getting that again. Air energy. That's the, why there's trust issues here, because something they didn't know about in the past caused it. They want the details. They want to know why. Why the heartbreak, why that pain, why that ending happened. What happened in the past. When there was that love in the past. Ten of Wands, it's burdening them. It's a burden on their trust. It's causing them, yeah, their trust issues. It's a burden that they're carrying about being able to trust you because they don't understand. They want more info on why. Why whatever happened in the past happened. The heartbreak, the ending. The High Priest or the Hierophant. Page of Wands, Fire Energy. Three of Wands and the Star. They're wanting this commitment with you, that's for sure. They're waiting for some sort of message from you, even if it is just a bit of flirty conversation, just to start things up again. Um, but they're waiting, yeah, they're waiting for that. Waiting to heal this. You are their wish as well. 
they're waiting to heal this. They're just waiting to hear from you, even if it is only just a little message of passion. Because they want... Could also be they want to learn. They want to learn what that was about in the past. They want to learn why you were flirting with someone else, I'm getting. And made them wait when, you know, you were their wish fulfillment. It's that could, yeah, you still need to, need to communicate. Because that was obviously the problem in the past, the communication. Getting a ringing in my ear. weird it's gone now <laughs> yeah that playfulness yeah okay let's get your message for you Leo woman holding a heart it's like the queen of cups patience like temperance cornucopia ten of pentacles and attachment Ooh. Why is attachment there? Chained to something still. The temple path, some sort of belief systems that you're still attached to, an old belief system. <sighs> Leo. So you've got all this love that you want to give this person. The best love anyone can give or receive. But you're being patient here and waiting. What are you waiting for? Why are you being patient here? Patiently wanting this. Wanting this to blend together with patience. This cornucopia of basically the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, which is what they want with you. You're being patient about it and this love. You're asking them to be patient, waiting. Because you've still got an attachment to some, some, or still got an attachment to a past commitment. Because it's a bit like the Hierophant. Could be, you'll be still attached to someone from someone else. Still attached to another commitment. Or are you still attached to a belief system that's not good for you? That you hide behind a mask, behind, chained to some belief system that needs to go. Or you're, I mean, this is very grey. And you're chained to it. Chained to some sort of other commitment here. Is that why you're asking this love energy that you feel this beautiful love for that feels it for you too? You're asking them to be patient in order to, you know, saying you will, we will have that, but I'm still attached to another commitment at the moment. <sighs> Leo, you need to get detached because that attachment didn't look good. It's not nice, you know. Why are you chained to something? Angel of Strength. Call in your own angel, the Angel of Strength. This is Strength cards, your card again, Leo. You need to be strong. You need to call in that inner strength, Angel of Strength, to give you the strength to release, to break that chain. So you can have that happiness that you want. That Yeah, with that beautiful love. Okay. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Leo, please. What else can you tell us about them? Ooh. That flipped and went back in. I'm not sure if you saw that. A full 360. Ah, oh, it's gone on the floor. It's oh. on. Two. 
and three. Okay. So they have all tied up. Wow. Like the Eight of Swords. Healer of the Ages. So they're doing some healing here. Doing healing. That's good. And the Garden and the Gate. Hmm. Perhaps not ready to step out of their comfort zone. Okay, action is at the bottom of the deck. Seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. Uriel, it's a crown chakra. Yin Yang, a balance. And the thinking man, it's like the king of swords, seeing things clearly, crystal clear. Getting their thoughts really clear here, trying to get themselves balanced here. Trusting their higher source on what action to take. They want to take action. They want action to be taken. They want this to start moving. So they want to see some action here. They're trying to trust in their higher self here. Getting themselves really balanced. And their thoughts very clear on what they want. Which looks like, you know, long term stability and happily ever after with you, Leo. So... You know they're your true love. I don't know why you two haven't come together. You're looking for red flags, worried about red flags. They want they got trust issues because of the past. Oh dear. Message for Leo is Ooh, Ten of Swords, Leo. Oh dear. Painful ending. Five of Wands, oh! Page of Wands, Fire Energy, and that... <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Oh. So you're going through a really painful ending here. There's lots of fighting, competition, conflict, inner conflict. This is really painful for you. But like I said before, the Ten of Swords is an ending. It's not going to get any worse. And you go back to the Ace of Swords here with the Soulmate. So, wow. Oh, Leo, big hugs to you. That's terrible. And all the fighting, a painful ending here with lots of fighting. Conflict. You're going through a breakup with someone else. We did see you were still attached to something here. Page of Wands, messages of passion. A new beginning in passion as well, starting with the innocence of youth. Yeah, I think once this painful ending is over and all the conflict is gone, you will send that pas passionate message to that... Ace of Cups, that one that you love. That the one you know is a true love. But you're going through some real pain here at the moment. Oh, Leo. Yeah, call in that angel of strength. Your own personal angel to help support you through this year. You're going through at the end of a cycle with the world. You're closing out something. So there's the fool in the middle. So you can step in, step through that and have a new beginning. I think you're learning some lessons here. But, yeah, painful lessons, I'm sorry. But, yeah, sometimes that's the way it goes. You're not alone. I've been through painful lessons as well. Um, yeah, but this cycle is going to end. It will end. So you can have a new beginning, so... Learn your lessons, don't go through this again. Whoa, 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 okay. Oh, wow. So we've got, yeah, Ten of Wands, yeah. This is a massive burden on you, isn't it? We've got the sun, there's that happiness, the King of Cups, water, energy, and temperance, yeah. 
So, yeah, because you're going through this massive burden at this time, your happiness, another one of your cards, is delayed. That's why you're holding back all this love that you have for this person. Asking them to be patient. Wow, trying to be really patient here because why? I don't know what I saw at the bottom of the deck, the Two of Cups. You have a love. This soulmate here. But uh, you're going through a breakup with someone else at the moment that isn't working out. Wow, Ten of Coins, Ten of Pentacles. You want that long-term stability with this person too. But you, yeah, you you can't even, yeah, because you've got to release one of those swords. You can't make that choice at the moment because you're still trying to clear it. Yeah, you can't choose happy ever after at the moment and the new beginning because you're still in the dark. Yeah, you've still got someone who's, yeah... Still secretly got someone holding on to you that this soulmate doesn't know about. Alright. Is that happy ever after, Leo? It's right there. Alright, tell me about all tied up for this love energy coming towards Leo, please. Hello, Black Crow. I don't know if you can hear them out there. Calling out to me. So I usually chuck a bit of food out for them. <laughs> they came around before and I said to them, maybe later. <laughs> now it's later. <laughs> They're coming back again. I'll have to do it after this reading. All right. Oh, seven of cups and the eight of wands. So they're all stuck up in their head or totally confused. It's a confusion and an illusion. What choice do they make? They want this to move forward. Travel. This can be travel. <laughs> Passionate communication back and forth. Um, they're really confused because they want this. They're stuck in their head. Total confusion and, and illusions. <laughs> about the, communicating with you. Perhaps worried that you've got other options. Are you talking to other people? They don't know. They're just totally confused about what to do here. They're stuck up in their head. They don't know what to do. As much as they want this communication between you two. Yeah, two of wands. They're at a crossroads. They don't know what to do. Really confused about whether they should communicate with you. Three of Cups, Celebrations, Get-Togethers. Page of Cups, Water Energy, Seven of Wands, and the World. So they could be worried that there's a third party because we do have seven of cups and three of cups. But um, I'm more getting that they just want this to come back together for you two to get together and celebrate. The apologies from both sides, I think. Have those messages of love between you two again. But they're quite defensive here because they are confused about everything. They, they, don't, they don't know what's going on here. The cycle is going to end. They were, uh, hmm. They're standing their ground on something here about this cycle ending. Yeah, the past cycle ending, the Six of Cups. They want to close out the past. Yeah, they're really standing their ground here. They they really want want to, very strongly 
want to close out that past cycle, whatever this trust issue is, whatever this past cycle is, they want to close that out so that they can be, you know, get together, apologies to be done. Yeah, they definitely want to close out that old cycle. Where it goes from there, hmm, well, that's up to you to. They may express a little bit of love. What's that? Oh, Five of Swords. Yeah, they want to close it out because it's the sabotage that was done. The mind games, the manipulation, the game playing, the, the head games, the selfishness. They may want to apologise for their part in that or want you to apologise for your part in that because I think you've both done this the same thing to each other. This is been, You both sabotage this. You're sabotaging it now by holding it back and not communicating with this person. They've sabotaged it by... I don't know. It's not really saying the painful ending that was caused, but they want answers about the past, so I'm not sure what the go is with that. But yeah, they they want to heal this sabotage. They want that to stop. I priestess, all the secrets, keeping secret, but they're trying to trust their intuition here that this can be healed. Tell me about healer of the ages. They're trying to get clear in their thoughts because they're all tied up at the moment. Mm. Tell me about Hello of the Ages for this love energy coming towards Leo, please. Thank you. Faith. They're trying to have faith that this can be healed for a start. But this is the Hierophant again. They're trying to believe because it's belief systems that this can be healed. Queen of Swords air energy though. Very loving. All queens are loving. But she's been hurt a lot, this Queen of Swords, and keeps that sword that was stuck in her back from a painful ending from a Ten of Swords moment. So you gotta come correctly with the truth to get to her heart. So yeah. Trying to have faith this can be healed and that They can come correctly, you will come correctly. You both got to come correctly here and speak your truth. So you can open up your hearts to each other again. Aww. It's a beautiful love story here, but it's a bit of a soap opera here with all the drama of you not speaking and sorting this out. You're still delaying something that could have been already beautiful. Both of you. I'm not having a go at you, Leo. Both of you. Look under the deck. We've got the Five of Coins, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Knight of Coins. Air, um, sorry, Earth Energy. They miss you so much. They want to come in from out in the cold because it's just a nightmare for them to not be with you. Oh, I can feel this. They want this happily ever after with you. My God, these cards keep coming up. You both want this happily ever after with each other. You know you would make each other so emotionally fulfilled. Yeah, actions of stability. There just has to be actions of stability. You both have to get on your horses. <laughs> And ride it. Look, this horse is coming in fast. This ain't no slow pony like in the other decks. It's ready to fly. Um, yeah, stability. Actions of stability have to be shown here. Stable action moving forward. We'll keep this happily ever after going, but leaving it out in the cold. It's just a nightmare. I'm feeling it for both of you. Oh, Leo, what are you two doing? 
Yeah, look, they've got the painful ending too. Ten of Swords, you've both got the same energy. Oh, my God. And there's a Ten of Coins, see? A painful ending, but there's long-term stability here. They are in so much pain and so conflicted about this, about the fights. Mm. They're in solitude. They're trying to heal, do that self-work. <sighs> trying to understand why this painful ending happened and why all this fighting when they just want this long-term stability with you and this love, the same thing that you want. Oh, yeah, there's that sabotage again. Why is it all sabotaged? Why are you used to fighting this? Look, four of wands, stability, actions of stability, passionate stability. Oh, my God, soulmates. 11-11, soulmate. Tell me about the garden and the gate for this love energy coming towards Leo, please. Again, you've got a long reading. <laughs> okay. No, that way. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. The Four of Cups. And there's the Ten of Pentacles again. Wow. So I think, you know, they're waiting behind that gate, waiting for you. Looking out over the horizon. When are you coming, Leo? When are you coming? They don't want to step out of that gate without you. They're waiting at the gate for you is what I'm hearing. They're waiting at the gate for you. In their beautiful garden, in this beautiful environment that they're really comfortable in. Well, that they've made beautiful for you. They're waiting for this wheel to turn because they don't, yeah. They want the wheel to turn on this. They want this to move forward. They don't want to miss this opportunity. They want, to, they want this opportunity to have this Ten of Pentacles with you. They're waiting. You're waiting. Yeah, they want to come in from out in the cold. They miss you so much. They're at the gate waiting. I'm missing you. Whoa, they miss you. Oh. Okay, I don't want to cry. So, um, Four of Swords, they want to heal this. The Chariot, they want this to move forward triumphantly here. The Lovers, you know you are both soulmates here. But Two of Coins, it's all up in the air. It's all up in the air. It's just up in the air. They're just throwing their hands up like, well, what do I do? You know you're the soulmates. You're both, doing, you're both doing the same thing. Action needs to be taken here to, to heal this. You just need to move forward and heal this. See, under the decks, playfulness, the hierophant, action, and healing. Four of Swords. The playfulness needs to turn into stability here. The action needs to be... But to do that, the action needs to be taken to heal this. All right. Let's see what you have got to say to each other. would Leo like to say I hope you can forgive me wow there was someone else yeah well we saw that yeah I think you're still attached to them you're trying to break that chain um, I only want to be with you and I wish things were different oh Leo well you just need to get together and heal this Wow. Oh, good. I will contact you soon. Good. You do that, Leo. You do that. You've got... Yeah, do that. Definitely contact them soon. Mm, well, soon. When you're single and ready for love with them. When you're single, 
Mm. Cause you gotta break that chain to that attachment. Well, maybe now you've broken the chain. Yeah, cause look, I just wanna be single. Yeah, you gotta get yourself single first. Then you can come towards them. Yeah, cause you want you want this person next to you, but you gotta get yourself single first. All right, love energy coming towards Leo. What would they like to say to Leo? At least three cards, please. That's one. Two more, please, at least. Thank you. Oh, and they've knocked down the sign. Oh dear, it's interesting cards. So they have, lying was easier than telling the truth. So they want to come in and tell you this truth here. I guess they were lying to you too, possibly about how they felt, because they came in with playfulness, but that was a deception. I was raised not to show emotion. I don't think they were raised not to show emotion. I just think they were trying not to show emotion to you. That was the lie that they felt emotion for you. I'm sorry I hurt you. Oh. Yeah. They know this hurt you too. They know you're both going through it. I can't give you what you want. Wow, that's interesting. I'm hearing I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't give you what you want. That's why they hurt you, because they... <sighs> wow, this is weird. Oh, they've got there with someone else as well. I'm afraid of these feelings. I only want to be with you. I am not over you. Wow. So perhaps they didn't tell you that there was somebody else. They couldn't show you emotion because there was somebody else. They're sorry they hurt you because there was somebody else. And they couldn't give you what you wanted because there was someone else. But these feelings are deep that they have for you so much that they scare them. They only want to be with you. And they're definitely not over you at all, Leo. Definitely not over you at all. But look, these two are mirroring each other so much. So much. <sighs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Whew. All right, Leo. Well, that was your reading. I feel exhausted now. I've got to go and feed those crows. <laughs> They're good messenger birds. And they eat all the negative energy. So, yeah, I like crows. They're beautiful anyway. But anyway, yeah. So don't forget to uh, like, share, subscribe, and reach out to this person. Please, I want to see beautiful readings. We use it together. <laughs> I don't care if I lose all my Leo subscribers. I don't care. All viewers, please just come together. All right. Um, yeah. So I'll be doing another reading in a few days and we'll see what's going on then. So don't think I'm not going to be checking up on you. <laughs> all right. Well, big hugs for that pain, but you know how to fix it. All right. All the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.